Welcome back to Howie's Reviews. I've had the Aturia Minifuse 1 for about two weeks now, and this is my review. The Minifuse series offers three different models. There's the Minifuse 1, Minifuse 2, and the Minifuse 4, coming a little bit later. They differ just in the number of inputs and outputs, otherwise the same hardware inside. The one I have is, again, the Minifuse 1, which is a single combo XLR and quarter inch input. Everything here will also apply to the Minifuse 2, as it just has an additional combo port on the front and a MIDI in and out on the back. It is made with a tough metal housing with plastic front and back plates. The knobs are rubberized and feel great to operate them. The buttons are responsive and clicky. I haven't felt anything get hot or even warm to the touch. The ADC and DAC processing is done by the Cirrus Logic CS4272 chip. The Solo 3rd generation is using the same Cirrus Logic CS4272 chip as the rest of the Scarlet series is, so not sure you'd find much of a difference between the two devices. With that, the Minifuse goes punch for punch with the Focusrite Scarlet series. Both Aturia and Focusrite audio interfaces support a frequency response of 20 Hz to 20 kHz with a sample rate of 44.1 all the way up to 192 kilohertz at 24 bit. There's also 56 decibels of gain with each. A slight difference in the mic input impedance with the Aturia at 2.5 kilo ohms, while Focusrite claims 3 full kilo ohms. They also have a very similar dynamic range of negative 111 decibels on the Scarlet and negative 110 decibels with the Minifuse and the same 1 dB difference in the EIN scoring of negative 129 or negative 128, both A-weighted. If you want to see a much more detailed breakdown of the specifications, I highly recommend you to watch the below linked video by Julian Krauss. As far as controls, inputs, and outputs, the Minifuse 1 has a single combo XLR one quarter inch port with a gain knob, instrument button, as well as a 48 volt phantom power button. This device also has a very large dial for monitor volume and a smaller knob for headphone control. There's also a direct monitor button that allows you to directly monitor the sound coming in from your combo input. Finally, it has a headphone jack on the lower right corner. Around on the back side of the device, you'll find a left and right TRS output instead of the RCA like some other audio interfaces. It also connects to your computer or iPad via USB type C port. There is a bonus on the Arteria Minifuses, a USB hub. One thing I really like during this setup is that when I first connected the computer to the audio interface, it was detected as mass storage. The benefit to that is that I didn't have to waste time going to their website, clicking around a couple pages, and finding the download that I needed. The Minifuse Control Center program that it comes with will help with registration and software setup. From here, it'll give you access to download the free bundled software that you get with the device. Some of those would be Ableton Live Lite, Analog Lab Intro, Arturia FX, and Native Instruments Guitar Rig 6 LE. It also comes with a couple trial programs, but those aren't really strong selling points. Of course, you don't have to use Ableton, as the Minifuse will work with any DAW that you prefer to use. Just quickly showing the power of Minifuse Control Center. If you click on Instrument, you'll see it lights up on the device. Same with Phantom Power and Direct Monitor. It is also where you go to download firmware updates. Is it worth buying? I think it's a great small device that can be picked up for not much. The Minifuse 1 will cost you about 99 US dollars, while the Minifuse 2 is 149. Compare that to the Focusrite Scarlet series with the Solo running 119 and the 2i2 model setting you back 169 US dollars. That's not to say the Scarlet is bad, just that the Arturia is being a little bit more competitive with its pricing. And the Arturia comes with a full five-year warranty, beating out the competition by a lot. I hope you enjoyed this short video review. If you did, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe for more videos coming down the road.